how many times have I asked you children to close the refrigerator? It's fine. I've told you there's nothing to be depressed about. You are a beautiful young woman. What are you, 32, 34? You better be talking about my bra size or you're gonna become awfully chummy with a turkey leg. Fran, I'm sorry I made such a big deal about the contest. Hey, the best woman won. Oh, honey, stop knocking yourself. Being the best had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Being the one most likely to pass a liver spot off as a coffee stain is what put me over the top. <laughs> Bottom line, you made him look old, and I made him look young. Really? Sweetie, you're too beautiful. That's your only curse. Fran, I love you. I love you more. Hey, at least Pamela didn't win. <laughs> I heard some lady at the contest sent her on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Gee, did they say if they saw who it was? Oh, no, the girls just said it was some older lady. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> oh, Niles, mm -hmm. know what the worst part of it all is? Not that in five years my tush is gonna need training wheels. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Sheffield was right. I mean, where do I come off thinking I can compete with young girls? Well, it was a little far-fetched. <laughs> oh, Alice, don't help me. I don't need your two cents. <laughs> oh, but I will need a 20. That's my pizza. It's fine. We're having dinner in an hour. I know. Why do you think I ordered thin crust? <laughs> Thank you. Keep the change. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> So, Niles, what's wrong with Nanny Fine? Oh, come on, Niles, tell me or I'll just die. You say it, but you don't mean it. <laughs> Miss Fine? Oh, um, don't come in. I'm not dressed. <laughs> come in. <laughs> Fine, I do hope you'll be coming down to dinner. I can't have my favorite nanny wasting away. I don't think I could eat. Do I, do I smell pizza? No, no, that's just Glade's new Italian fresh scent. <laughs> Miss Fine, I, I heard about the contest and I just can't bear the thought of you feeling badly about yourself. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sheffield. That's awfully sweet of you, but really, there's nothing you can say or do that's gonna make me feel any better. Well, then I suppose I'd be wasting my breath if I told you that I think no girl could possibly be a match for a woman like you. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Why are you Americans so obsessed with youth? You know, I prefer the more civilized European sensibility, that, that people improve with age, like... Like fine wine, especially a beautiful wine that's robust and earthy, yet sweet and strangely compelling. Oh, you're <laughs> good. Well, one more thing before I stop wasting my breath. I think you are one heck of a kisser. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, stop. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I can't remember being kissed like that. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever been kissed quite like that before. No more. I'm blushing. <laughs> like what? Well, with such passion, such abandon, such... Such... Suction. <laughs> yeah, well, Danny used to always call me his little dirt devil. <laughs> really? Isn't that charming? Oh, Mr. Sheffield, you are so wonderful. Here I was eating my heart out. And then you come up and make me feel so much better. You're such a doll. I could just... Just one, Miss Fine. Kiss you. Oh. Oh, well, far be it from me to refuse a token of gratitude from a lady. Thank you, Mr. Sheffield. It's nice to know I've still got it. 